Looks a bit dangerous, but. Hi, I'm Paul Brody. We're in the shop. Mitch is behind the cameras. Thanks for joining us. It appears that I'm helping a friend of a friend, someone I don't know. His name is Jorge Izaza. I hope I pronounce you somewhat right. He's an artist that lives on Salt Spring Island and he makes beautiful things out of wood. This is his sanding machine. This is what he has now. And they fit onto the ends like that. But on the wood that he wants to do, he wants to use this size. And this size is apparently not available. That's when my phone rings, because apparently I know how to do this stuff. So these go off to one side. I've got some aluminum, 6061. We have a drawing, sketch. We're gonna go over to the lathe and I'm, I'm, I'll do one side. I'm gonna do the larger size side because if it doesn't work out, then I can make it into the smaller side size. One concern that I have is that this has to, it has to be lightly forced on. I don't know how much pressure it's gonna take. That's kind of a long section, so. It's probably going to be something like size on size. What I'm seeing in my mind anyway is a straight section, a taper here so that it doesn't actually hold the roll. So as you press the wood in, it deforms very, very slightly. And that I think could help out at the very end. So you have a, a taper a straight section and then another taper. So when you press this on, you have to force it on a little bit up here. Now, I don't know about the size. When they make these, <clears throat> how consistent is the bore, the ID? That's a gamble. So we'll have, have to make one of these. And I, I guess if it's a little too small, you put on a little bit of masking tape, perhaps, maybe just down one side. Then it gets, it's flipped around in the mill, gets faced off, and we bore for this size here. It's gonna be a clamping system. We're gonna use a set screw. There's gonna be a slot. This gets pressed onto here, well, installed, and then with a four mil Allen key, we lock this onto here. These bores have to be quite spot on. So that's my job. Let's go over to the lathe. Let's take off some metal and uh, we'll continue. Thanks for joining us. I stopped a little short, it needs to be on a taper. So I have to set the compound to an angle of maybe one degree, one and a half. Cause then when the, when the, when the sanding roll goes up there, it's got something it can wedge against. Let's see how we're doing for size here now. No, that's okay. That's too tight, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna take off another little cut here.
Okay. I think that's pretty good. And after I put a taper from here to here, that is going to wedge on there. So that's good. Okay, that's a two degree taper. What should happen now is this should go up here. There we go. And then it gets wedged onto that one and a half degree taper. So I'm going to move this now. I'm going to, I'm going to hold, hold it right here. And I'm going to put a taper on here because it does fit. But I think that if there was a little bit more of a taper on the very end, that you could be able to bend this a little bit and make it softer for sanding. That's my theory. That's the Allen screw we're going to use. So if this shoulder here was about half inch, that looks good to me. What we need now is a, a drawing of the inside. Let's go back to the bench and let's, let's take a couple measurements, okay? Oops, 499, so it's, <clears throat> this is almost half an inch. I have a reamer, a half inch reamer. That will work really nice for that. And we just have to do this size here because it does have to clamp onto this as well, or I want it to clamp onto this as well. 575, we'll check with a micrometer for super accuracy. 575, right on 575. I can bore that with a little boring bar because it's not going all that far. And that just has to be... ...425. That'll work. Okay. 425. It's my sketch. Go make it.
All right, we're going to go to the mill. We're going to hold this in the, in the mill vise. We're going to drill down. That's where the Allen screw goes in, and then we slot it. And then we see if it works. I got a nine mil end mill here. It's a little smaller than three eighths. So it's a good, it's a good size for the head of five millimeter Allen screw. Okay. I have to counter drill now, five mil, so that the thread can go through until it, well, until it meets the thread in the, what do we call this, in a spindle, an arbor, something like that. Do high speed slotting here. There we go. She's biting. Okay, that's good. I like to put a little bit of anti-seize on the thread, so, because when we torque it down, I think it does make a difference. Okay, this is a little bit of a big moment. Seeing if it fits. So let's have a look. First time. So it's supposed to go on a little bit more. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that. Shall I say it? That's a good fit. The smile. Okay, so. That's pretty snug. Shall we plug it in and see what happens? Okay, well this is, let's just see what happens. Should I get wood? Oh. I think that works fine. I, I don't feel, I, I know that it's bouncing up and down, but I don't feel the vibration when I'm sanding, so I think it's gonna be good. So I hope Jorge likes his, his new sander. I'm quite happy with how this ended up, and obviously I've got more work to do for the other side. It's, it's quite long, but as long as it's working for Jorge, that's good. Thanks for watching. Mitch and I like coffees. If you buy us a few coffees, helps the channel much. Please subscribe, like, share. We'll see you next time. Take care.